It's finally here. The Decatur County 4-H Showcase going on this week. It's making us all a little crazy, but welcome to my office. <music> tough week in the office this week this week was supposed to be our county fair and it was canceled the carnival portion was canceled but the 4-h competition is still going to happen and that's exciting because that means that our 4-hers are still going to receive some validation for all of the hard work that they've put in this year but i still feel a void within me from the carnival piece being canceled and it's the food let's be honest I really am gonna miss the fair food. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. The health guy talking about fair food? What? And let me assure you, those that know me are not surprised by this. Those that don't know me, it's one of those guilty pleasures that I have in all things in moderation because I feel that I'm a fairly wise consumer. And by that, I mean, I take the time and I read labels. And that's really where my fact came from this week as I think about that, is that reading labels is key to knowing what is in our food. And one of the things about label reading on packages, so I have a package of cookies here, is that the ingredients are actually listed in a very specific way. And I don't think a lot of people know this. So when you read a label and you read the ingredients, know that the ingredients are listed in descending order by weight. So for instance, this bag of cookies has enriched flour, sugar, vegetable oil, high fructose corn syrup, cocoa processed with alkali whey, and then 2% less of another variety of things. So as what I read off was going in a descending order, there was least amount of it as I went down the list. And the biggie that I thought that this week's fact could be about is sugar. It very specifically leads with sugar as what it is, but high fructose corn syrup is also in here. And that's sugar by another name. And sugar is actually named by 60 different things. And those are And knowing what is in the food and what you're consuming, I think is important because there's something that I want to show you. And that has a lot to do with this week's fact. Hundred and nineteen. A hundred and nineteen teaspoons of sugar. That's what this is. And that's significant because this is the current weekly average of sugar intake by an American adult. Now, as crazy as that may sound, it's incredibly easy that it happens because sugar is added to a lot of our food, sometimes with us knowing and sometimes without us knowing. And I challenge you, next time you're out grocery shopping, Take a second, read the label, and try and identify some of these 119 teaspoons of sugar and see if you can find them. Because at this point, this isn't a very sweet fact. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.